night live continues from this point on thank you for staying with us now if a human being is faced with a challenge they will either fight or run for dear life when atman binabasi was confronted by six thugs at his restaurant he chose to fight but this brave stance earned him a bullet to the head this week survivor a 64 year old man determined to fight crime in cardiff 64-year-old Athman Binabasi finds his roots in Nairobi's California estate. He says that it will take more than the events of August 10th, 2012 to make him turn his back on Caliph. Actually, I was in the month of Ramadan, I was in the Caribbean, 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 but I was in the Caribbean, I was in the Caribbean, I was in the Caribbean, I was in the Kwa <laughs> Asa mimi nilisema ule atatoka kwanza ndio mita mwani. So mlango ulipofunguka mimi nilimshika mtu mmoja nikampiga mpaka chini. Kumpiga kaanguka chini nikaenda naye chini na alikokona gana. Lakini hakuwahi kuitumia. Maana yake nikaona mlalia chini. Hasa ndipo hapo nilipo nasikia anasema amenibamba, amenibamba, mshoot, mshoot. One of the assailants crept up on Athman's left side and shot him in the head. Potoke hivyo mi sikuanguka nikasimama. Kusimama kichwa nilikuwa nasikia yote baridi na sisikii kitu yoyote. Mashikio yote inafunga kwa ile bang. So nikamgeukia ule alikuwa amenipiga. Kumgeukia hivi yeye kuniona akapiga step nyuma moja alakimbia. Sasa ndio nganza kusikia siwezi kufanya kitu na ule alikuwa kwa chini pia akaamka akakimbia so kuanzia hapo mimi kitu nilifanya nilikaa chini nilalala tu pale chini nikajishika hivi kwa na madamu nikalala chini sana ngojea tu for first aid conscious the entire time athman heard on lookers verbally relive what had happened sasa hapo ndio nilianza kufikiria kama kweli nimepigwa kichwa na mna hii kama nikufa bado naona watu bado nawasikia vile wanazungumza nikanipa confidence hiyo basi ndio watu wakizungumza hapa nikamwambia nyi bado mnitafutie gari nipeleke for first aid nyi mnasema tu ile nimepigwa bongo nimefanywa hivi kama ningekuwa hivyo ningekuwa naongea sasa ndio alianza kushout eh hey, wapi gari wapi gari nimbeba kama kusimamisha gari hapa tukampeleka hapa afwan hapo juu mmepita hospitali hapa ito afwan Medical workers there feared that his injuries were too grave and referred him to the Nairobi West Hospital. Rather than go home and pack his bags and book the next flight to the United Arab Emirates to be with his wife and four children, Athman plotted on how to get justice the legal way. Athman says that this street in Marimbi area within Caliph Estate is one of the most insecure areas within Nairobi. Young men aged between 17 and 26 attack Nairobi residents at will, indiscriminately. I was able to get a reward. 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 kwa kutumia bunduki na ibana bunduki wengine wao wakafa wengine wameshikwa hata sasa hii wako ndani eh jana mtaa mtaa mkaa mmoja tu lakini hapa kando wa majengo eh ni jana hapa hapa kwetu watu hii fear ya kusema ati ya kwamba akikuona ati ukienda ku report wengine wenzake watakujia hiyo ndio inafanya uhalifu uendelee zaidi this 
fear of speaking out against criminals builds up anger among residents, which results in incidences of mob justice, such as the case of a man in Oyugis who was paraded to the town square and lynched by an angry mob. If more men and women worked hand in hand with the security agencies, perhaps the rate of insecurity would reduce. <laughs> All in all, it takes one man. Athman Binabasi has decided that he is the one man willing to fight crime in California estate. Catherine Omwando for the Survivor Series.